Scandalous lover, shrewd negotiator, and owner of a lovely nose, here are five facts on the Queen of the Nile, Cleopatra VII. Fact 1. She wasn't just a pretty face. Cleopatra's beauty has been admired and debated for centuries after her death, but this was not her only defining feature. She was fluent in her native Greek, Egyptian, and as many as seven other languages, which could often mean she could converse with diplomats without a translator. She also possessed knowledge of mathematics, physics, and philosophy. I mean, she's got me there. I'm not even a pretty face. Fact 2. She wasn't Egyptian. Ptolemy, one of Alexander the Great's generals, set up his dynasty in Egypt. This means that the royal family Cleopatra claimed lineage from was of Greek and Macedonian heritage, not Egyptian. Although she was not ethnically Egyptian, Cleopatra was the first of her line to learn the native tongue and followed many of the country's ancient customs. Fact number three, the month of August is in celebration of her defeat. After Octavian defeated Antony and Cleopatra in Egypt, he was in position to be the sole ruler of the Roman Republic renaming himself Augustus and becoming the first emperor of Rome. In honour of this, he renamed the 8th month of the year August in memory of his victories both in Egypt and abroad. The only other man to have a month named after him in this fashion was Julius Caesar. The month is, unsurprisingly, July. Fact 4. She ordered her sister to be murdered. After Caesar's murder, Cleopatra fled back to Alexandria and needed to safeguard herself and her son. To do this, Cleopatra ordered that her sister, Arsinoe, be put to death. Mark Antony, who was now in a relationship with Cleopatra, ordered the execution in 41 BCE on the steps of the Temple of Artemis and caused a great scandal throughout the Roman world. Fact 5. She knew how to make an entrance. When Julius Caesar landed in Egypt, he was said to have been enraged by the murder of his rival Pompey by Cleopatra's brother, Ptolemy VIII. He seized the palace at Alexandria and set about securing the country. Sensing that Caesar would be her best way to return to power, Cleopatra smuggled herself through hostile territory wrapped in a rug. When this was presented to Caesar as a gift, she unrolled and introduced herself. And there you have it, five facts on the last of the Egyptian queens, Cleopatra. I hope you've enjoyed this video and remember to give us a like and subscribe below. See you next time.